What's going on, you guys? Alex Jason back here with a brand new video. Hopefully, having a great day, afternoon, or night, or wherever you guys are in the world. In the Los Angeles Lakers, they are down 0-3 against the Denver Nuggets after last night's 119 to 108 loss. And I'd be being dramatic if I said I was speechless about this because Denver is obviously the better team in this series. They have proved to be the better team all two games and now all three games in this series. But it's like. Each game, LA has been so close to either you know tying it up 1-1, making it 2-1 last night, or even taking game one. They came back from a really big deficit in game one. They've been, this, this series could be 3-0 Lakers, it could be 2-1 Denver, it could be 2-1 Lakers. It could be whatever, it could be a multiple combinations because each game has been so close in the end. But then Denver pulls away with the last couple minutes on the clock and... It's so crazy. I mean, I love it. Jamal Murray, 37 points last night. Again, six assists, seven rebounds, two steals, only one turnover. A total of five turnovers from Denver. Talk about efficient damn basketball. I got to applaud Coach Mike Malone. I got to applaud Jokic. Got to applaud Murray. Got to applaud the whole damn Denver team. That is efficient basketball. And they're up 3-0 because of it. Some team... Could take a hint. Continuing with Denver statistically, Aaron Gordon, 7 points. MPJ, 14 points on 4 for 10 from the 3. Taking a little too many 3s, but that's what he does. You know, he's their pull-up 3 guy coming down the court in a fast break. That's really his role or sitting in the corner. But 4 for 11 overall, made all 3s. 10 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. That's a very good game from MPJ. That's what they want from him, be that shooter in the corner or coming up. I notice a lot, he's their main pull-up shooter coming down transition on a fast break, which is interesting. I mean, he does very... He's, Whenever I'm watching the game, he's relatively good at it. Nikola Jokic, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 steal. No triple-double last night for you know Jokic, but 9 for 19 from the field, 2 for 5 from 3. Dude's still getting 8 assists, 6 rebounds on 24 points. I love Jokic, if you couldn't tell. I've been out to Denver before to see him play. He is so fun to watch. To the point this season where, like, watching these playoffs, obviously MVP is all regular season award, to the point where... Man, he might have should have got that three-time MVP award. I'm okay with Embiid getting it. All love to Embiid. He definitely deserved it. But the way he is playing in the playoffs, which, again, I know has nothing to do with the regular season MVP, he might have he might have been warranted of that three-time MVP. Anyways, Jamal Murray, 37 points, 5 for 11 from 3, 15 for 29 from the field. But what they don't tell you is he had 30 points in the first half. Man's a beast. Man is a beast. Like, what can I say? He shows up when the lights are the brightest. Seven rebounds, six assists, two steals, one turnover. One turnover. Like I said before, the team only had five turnovers. Efficient basketball. Jamal Murray only had one. You're telling me you scored 37 points. That means you have the ball a lot of damn times. Only with two free throws, by the way. He only took two free throw attempts. So two of his points came from the line. The rest, you know, he's dribbling around, whatever it may be. You're telling me you only get one turnover? That's some top-level stuff right there. That's superstar-level stuff, and he's doing it when it counts the most. And KCP, 17 points, 4 for 7 from 3, 6 for 10 from the field. Very efficient game. That's what he does. He's their shooter. Three rounds, two steals. He's also a good perimeter defender as well. Then off the bench, Jeff Green still catching bodies. He did it, I believe, in Game 2. I don't think he did one last night, but 2 for 3 from the field, 5 points. And then Bruce Brown, shout out to Boston Native, 15 points. One for five from three, which isn't great, but six for 11 from the field overall. So he shot very well from the mid-range. Two for two from the line. Still a six, plus six on his plus minus. Five rebounds, five assists, one steal. So a very overall game from Bruce Brown there. And then Christian Brown only played three minutes, didn't do anything. But again, the only players on the Denver team that had a negative plus minus was Christian Brown, who only played three minutes with zero points, you know, whatever. And then KCP, who had 17 points, but he had a ne negative one plus minus. But everyone else was a plus six, plus five, plus 18, plus 15, plus nine, plus six. Such an efficient game from Denver. No, you know, obviously they're going to win that game. Just so, so efficient. Uh, Denver is a pure basketball team. They don't, they don't do anything flashy. They're all about their business. A lot like the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. And it shows on the court. They're up 3-0 because of it. They stick to basketball. They listen to their coach. Mike Malone is a fantastic coach. I don't think he gets the credit he deserves just because they're in Denver and they never really want anything. But this year's their chance. They're one win away from getting to the NBA Finals. And Mike Malone and the Denver Nuggets are soon to be getting the credit they deserve. Moving on to the Lakers. They had 12 turnovers. Exactly. You have all these turnovers. You're going to lose. AD had 28 points, 18 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 blocks. That was a very good AD game. He was closer to that 30-point mark. I talked about in the last video where AD only had 18 points. He's got to do better for them to have a win. 
and they didn't come out on top because LeBron James, he, I don't know if he has it anymore. That's what I was hearing last night. I disagree. I think he still has it. He proved it in game six against the Warriors that he can still pop off, but he is getting older. He has proved that he's not, you know, he's getting injured more often, but I do not think that has anything to do with LeBron James last night because D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell, three points, three rebounds, four assists, one for six from three, one for eight from the field. You're not going to get wins with that. You're not going to get wins with that at all. Dennis Schroeder, five points in 25 minutes. Rui Hachimura, 13 points. Not bad, but not the most efficient game. But Austin Reeves showed up. Seven for 10 for the field, three for five from three. Austin Reeves has been arguably a top three player for the Lakers in these playoffs. He's going to be getting a bag this summer, and it might not be from L.A. because I don't know if they have the cap space for it, and they might try to go in a different direction, try to, might try to get Kyrie Irving prime from the Mavericks, whoever it may be. But Austin Reeves has been fantastic, and none of these losses are on him. A trend with the Lakers is that either LeBron and AD do well, the bench does bad, or LeBron and AD do bad, and the bench does fantastic. Last night, LeBron and AD, Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura a little bit, all did great, especially Reeves, AD, and LeBron. Hachimura did okay. But then after that, no one showed up, and that's why they lost. And the game was still close. That's why I'm telling you, this series could be 3-0 Lakers, could be 2-1 Lakers, could be 2-1 Denver. It could be a multiple, it could be whatever it could be. It has been so close. But Denver's just making winning plays. They're playing efficient basketball. Only five turnovers. I'm going to keep going back to that because that's just, that's just the definition of efficient. It doesn't get any more efficient than that. Only five turnovers. It's the first of four, not first of three. So the series is not over until it's over. And if anyone's going to come back from a 3-0 deficit, it's going to be LeBron. He came back from 3-1 against Curry and the Warriors. So I'm not counting out LeBron and the Lakers yet. But realistically, I'm counting out you know, LeBron and the Lakers. But again, it's not over till it's over. So that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you did enjoy this video tonight. Can Boston make it 2-1? Can they grab their first win in this series? We shall see. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And like always, peace out.